Hypertension. When can you code hypertension, hypertensive urgency, uh, hypertensive emergency, hypertensive crisis by the documentation? Like, what blood pressure readings constitute the different terms or the signs and symptoms that would accompany these hypertensions? Okay, first of all, you cannot code off of blood pressure readings or the signs and symptoms and call it that. Hmm. It has to be stated, hypertensive urgency hypertensive crisis. Those are key words. If they're not documented, you can't pull those codes. Simple as that. So so you code them because the provider said the patient was in hypertensive crisis. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's saying in his medical records. So then you can code hypertension crisis, mm -hmm. which is I-60. I just taught my classes last night. I wanted to see if it come up on the top of my head, but I can't remember. Well, I and the other thing is these are not going to happen in the doctor's office. And if they are, you're on your way to the ER. So um, so they should not be just thrown around as codes uh, that you would normally code. These are emergencies. And, and I so. believe I have, I don't have my ICD-10 in front of me. I believe these have coding guidelines. Oh, yeah, but they do. There are coding guidelines for these mm -hmm. hypertensives, so you have yeah. to go exactly what those coding guidelines say in order to It reminds out. me of the cancer codes. You know how the other day there was a, a provider that had coded that they were, it was an ENT and he was going to take something off of um, the mouth and it was a myelial seal, he said, and then, but he coded it as a neoplasm of uncertain behavior. Well, mm. it's not that, but he didn't mm. know that because it's a Milo seal actually has a code, you know, and it, it, it was a cyst type thing. And and so, again, because those cancer codes have specific guidelines to be able to use them. And it's the same thing here. You've got to have that document, that verbiage, or you can't pull those codes. And yeah. we can't pick them even if we knew what a blood pressure was for one of those and the signs and symptoms associated to it. You can't do it. In fact, you can't even query about it. That would be uh, leading. Doc yeah, the yeah. doctor. Yeah. Yeah. You may know. And, and you know what's really <laughs> interesting is when you start learning the disease process, you, and that's good that you do know. Don't think that you don't. It's none of your business because you want to know. You want to you wanna say, oh, this is what I'm going to expect to see. These are what medicines he's going to take. Now I can look to see if he's going to be on anticoagulants or blah, blah, blah. more medical certification and business training? Learn more at www.cco.us.